Hello and welcome to Flory Models. Today we've got Academy's brand new tool, 135th scale AH1Z Viper. No, it might look like a Cobra, but actually this is the Viper, the highly more capable uh, version from the sort of last one, I should think, of the actual uh, Cobra family. Um, supersedes, obviously the whiskey type, it's a lot bigger, a lot more chunky, you name it, it's got it. And I think it is gonna be the sort of definitive uh, Cobra uh, from the Cobra line of AH once. So what we've got down in here is also, uh, happens to be Academy as, 50th anniversary, which seems amazing. They've been going this long. Academy, over the last few years, we've seen some amazing releases from them. Their Phantom family. Suddenly, they sort of went right up, you know, and they developed us a nice looking Phantom with all the bits that you can imagine from it. Lots of detail as well, straight out of the box, and a lot of new te tooling techniques and things like that. So hopefully, we'll see that in here as well. So on the box, we can see, they call it the Shark Mouth one. Uh, it is actually uh, the Viper. Uh, to go along with the uh, new upgraded uh, Huey, uh, which is the Venom, I do believe, right the way through. So anyway, very nice box art you can see down there, 50th anniversary. All right, some pictures of it actually made up, which looks absolutely gorgeous, I have to say. That's very, very impressive build on the side there. So that's looking very nice indeed. Running around on here, so your kit number for this one is 12127. And then obviously we've got your paint call out and various things. Turn on there and back to the other side. And it's saying decals by Cartograph, which is always a very welcome sign. So as you can see, the box itself, on here to hold them down. The box itself is pretty well full up. We've got various screws as you can see down in there, and we've got a little thing. I haven't looked at this as always. Please check parts list before unsealing. Replacement or return not guaranteed when plastic is unsealed. Ooh, that's new. I haven't seen that before. So you've got to check all your parts and make sure they're all perfectly fine. Uh, otherwise you can't claim. That's what they're really saying. Okay, so down on the instructions, Academy standard way of putting this out. We've got colour call out to pretty much everybody down at the bottom, as you might imagine. All right, so working our way across, usual thing as you might imagine, we're starting into the cockpit, everything going in here. Remember, this is a modern helicopter, so it's giant big TV screens and lots of electronics in there. Seats being fitted to it, armour, you name it, it's going to have it going through all of this one as it's being put down there. Opening up a few bits and pieces uh, around it, and then obviously we've got some of the uh, camera equipment being fitted onto this one, and those being fitted in, and lots of different areas going in from the inside. It also, it looks like we have got uh, the actual blades for the engines. They're buried quite deep uh, down here on the actual uh, Viper. You can probably see it up here, the way it's gonna go in the side and come through. Same on the other side as well. All right, one thing I will just mention, I was just wondering if it has, and it does. You are gonna need a little bit of ballast for the front. The reason I say that is, is that some Cobras can be tail sitters, so it's never worth taking a risk. So I always usually put a little bit of weight down in the front, and they are calling out for three grams down in there as it is. So once you've got that in place, you can put two halves together. We've got the little pole there, which is gonna be uh, obviously for your uh, main rotor. And then obviously all the lumps and bumps, lots of things being fitted down onto this one. Nice little touch with the way that the actual uh, skids or the skis are done purely because we've got a good strengthening plate over the top turn to the bottom and then it goes in it's not like it's glued on the side and then you can have alignment problems and some fit issues and stuff like that no problem with that so it'd be nice and square and very strong which is the main point to this one then you've got this entire underside section is just going to go up and then fit underneath hopefully it's going to be a nice fit down on there like that and then we're moving around, so we've got some covers. Unfortunately, we don't get uh, any detail for engines or anything else to have them with the covers open. Uh, and then we've got, obviously, the big uh, infrared uh, filters uh, down at the back there, trying to get rid of some of that heat signature. Gearbox for the top of the rotor, tail rotor, looking very nice, and those areas going in there like that. And then this little guy, which I have seen, obviously, on promo stuff and things, is a slip one piece injection tail, which is really nice. So you've just got the end part going onto that. And then obviously we've got the winglets down at the back. Those will be fitted on and ready to go in. Then we've got the glasswork. So it's talking all about the glasswork being fitted down onto this one. Looks like the actual gun system is a nice one. Uh, I assume there's probably a poly cap in there. It's just gonna be a push up for the front of the cannon being fitted onto that one. There's your cannon system. And then obviously if you're gonna have the glass open or closed, it would be an option to have that one down on there. Then on to the other side, we're into some of the weapons call out for this one. So you do get some sidewinders for it. We've got the actual uh, rocket pods, 
uh, with the hydro system on those. We've got some Hellfires down on those, which again, very nice touch. And then the pylon systems, so forth and so on for fitting out which weapon outfit you want with this one. Those giant wings being fitted onto those or really pylons being fitted onto it, as you can see. And then we've got main uh, rotor uh, system being put together and those fitted on there just like that. Then we've got the tail rotor system going on and then obviously both of those being dropped in and you're good to go. Oh, I'm just wondering where the colour call out is. Perhaps that's on a separate something. And there we have it. So pretty much straightforward as you'd expect. Some nice things to have a look at. So I'm just going to go digging because I'm hoping we've got a colour call out and some things down in here, which we do. There's our decals. Okay, so we've got a little thing about tools and how to use them, which you'd be amazed how many people don't know how to use a pair of cutters correctly. Okay, so that's down in there. All right, and then actually, this is very nice manual tool they're calling this. This is purely for the call out. So you've got all your stencil data down on there, just like that. And then down in here, we've got some detailed stencil data for some of the parts, and then we've actually got the ones, and that. It does look nice, doesn't it? I know I'm a shark fan, you know, anybody who knows me know I'm a sucker for shark mouths and anything with teeth on it. That it looks absolutely gorgeous. So anyway, we've got that one down there and then other versions right the way through, uh, as you can see with those ones on the back. And then if you want the normal version, it's down here on the back as well. You've got a normal one without all of those on there. And again, more stencil data. Looks like we get a nice mask set as well uh, for that one, so that'd be quite handy. All right, so actually that's all looking very nice indeed. Okay, so if I can get this in somehow, there we go. There's that bonded in. So there it is, that's our mask set down the back. I don't think really we're gonna to need to get these out. They are cartographed, so we know they're gonna be very, very nice right the way through. And as you can see, pretty good, solid colors going down in here. So you've got the sort of high-vis and low-vis markings on those as well. Even the uh, slime lines are quite nice. No problem with that whatsoever. Then on the back here, we've got a nice little bit of color, uh, sorry, a bit of uh, photo etch down in there for a lot of the grill work. As you can imagine, there's various things on there. So that's got all of those covered. And this is cut. This is actually die cut. I can see it through there. Hopefully you can see it just about for that actual, for all the masking. And that will save a lot of time and is worth a couple of quid just on its own. So well worth it in there. Right, so time to get into the bag. I'll tell you what, because we always do it last, let's do clear parts first. Okay, because on a helicopter, clear parts are the most important thing. The only thing that's very worrying is this bit hanging out here. That just looks like it's gonna get stressed and cracked. I prefer to see it in amongst here and protected. So it's a little bit worrying, but actually that is very nice. And as you can see, it is crystal clear right the way through. It's not a, I would say it's probably 99.8 in my scale of crystal clearness. It's not 100%. There's a little bit in there, but it has got a small curve to it. Okay, but it's pretty close. And then down on here, the side ones, you can see a little bit of say it's almost scratching onto it, seeing as this has just come out of the bag, it can't be, and it is a single, but as you can see there's a little bit of marking on those, but something literally, either a little bit of polish or a quick dip will not fix, okay? And then we've got the actual camera for the front, that big old ball on the front there for the sensors. Not bad at all, I'm gonna keep that safe to one side for a minute. Right, down in here, I'll tell you what, we'll do that bag afterwards, because that's got something very nice in it, on the tees. So, Academy traditionally, I've always had a little bit chunky type of plastic, if I'm honest. Okay, there's nothing very refined about it. Uh, again, some other manufacturers, shall we say, but recently they are really, really stepping it up. And as you can see there, that's actually looking very, very nice indeed. It's a good, clear, clean uh, mold. Everything seems to be in place. We've got no real heavy duty burring on any of the sprues. That's the, the sort of sandwich layer between them. They're quite smooth. Uh, the detail on these is gorgeous and very, very fine. And we're gonna need a good close up in there. But as you can see, we've got recessed and raised detail. So the panel lines are just like the real thing, recessed, but the actual riveting is all raised, which I know will scare a lot of people because if you damage it, you've got to try and put it back. But that is absolutely fantastic. Very, very fine detail indeed. Extremely crisp. And then looking around everywhere, the latches, the way that they're actually recessed, 
and all of these details are looking very very nice no problem with that at all and even around underneath the mold underneath this no section things like that it is still crystal uh, in clear in the detail it's not fading off or just rolling away and even under here that's actually very very nice indeed that's incredibly sharp detail strew tabs may be a little bit big but generally they're only holding on sort of mediocre parts so I think they're going to be okay with that one. We've got some of the pylons, some of the doors, some of the sensor units, as you might imagine. We have a quick whiz around here. This is the tail section where it fits on. And then we've got the other side. So on the inside, obviously there's nothing at all down into these, purely because uh, you've got an entire cockpit that's going to fill all of that up. Again, it's, the only shame is it hasn't got an engine. It would be nice if it had an engine in there, but unfortunately not. But generally, very, very nice indeed. Okay, so down in here, as you can see, we've got the cockpit and we've got the various areas at the top here. We've got part of this uh, main rotor system down in here, which is all twisted as well, which is quite nice. And generally, again, a good clean sprue right the way through. So if we just move in here, we can see the skids full of detail right the way over those. That's actually really nice detail on those. We've got the actual intakes looking good. We've got the actual uh, panels for the crew for the gunner and the pilot and then obviously we've got a wall of circuit breakers and various things we assume down in here and then these i assume are the barrels uh, down in here for the three barrel cannon and then more intakes uh oh, sorry exhausts actually i think they're exhausts okay part of this camera unit now there is one as we saw molded here so you've got it in gray but also we've got it in clear so it is the same unit, which is uh, uh, that way around as you look at it. Okay, so we have got them both types. So if you wanted to have it clear or you just wanted to paint it, perhaps in gloss black in these areas and get away with it that way, then you can do, all right? So that's very nice indeed. And then looking up at the parts down in here, very nice indeed. Again, raised rivet detail all over these. Okay, the cockpit itself, again, it's, it, don't forget it's modern, so it's very minimal. It's not covered in circuit breakers and switches like the older ones. Okay, and then down, and this rotor head section, as you can see, very nice indeed. And then if we just flip it over, as you can see down in there, good, clean, no sign of any um, sort of flash or any mist molds or short shots, and there's certainly no, or that I can see anywhere, um, actually sink marks in the plastic. So that's very nice. Okay, this is the bit that's slightly exciting. So what we got down in here is something we haven't seen from uh, Academy before. We can get that out. Uh, and this is this one piece slip tail. So very clever how they inject that. So something comes in the side here, it goes down into there, then it's injected and then it's re retracted out and done. It's incredibly complicated. But the great thing about it is you get a three-dimensional pattern right the way around it. So that's the nice thing to it. Again, just out of note, some of the engineering little features down in here, you can probably see all these little dots everywhere. Very clever. And again, slip injection molding on the actual one-piece pylons as well. So no nasty seam lines to deal with there either. So in some ways, that is very, very clever. So if we start, I'll tell you what, let's just start with it. You can see the detail catching it in the light, hopefully we catch it somewhere. There we go. You can see all that riveting is actually raised and all the panels are recessed. And again, underneath here, we can see the mixture of raised and recessed details all the way over. Down here underneath, very nice indeed. More details again. And then we've got the pylon. So we've got a very fine rid, uh, a ring of rivets running right the way around. And then on the underside, you can see more detail of that running around on here as well. And then obviously we've got some of the plug-in units and things like that for the systems on that one right the way in. And the other side of the tail on this side, again, very, very nice. We've got the flare dispensers, both sides as well on that, incredibly nice. And then you've got down in here, We've got the shroud around the exhaust. Again, raised and recessed details. These fan blades, the actual intake compressor blades uh, for the engines. Then we've got the tail system, which is two piece. Okay, again, absolutely loaded in. And if you, you can hear lots of uh, lovely riveting detail on that as well. 
and you can catch it in the light there. That's actually very, very nice indeed. So again, beautifully, beautifully done. Okay, so last up we've got the blades, big old blades. So it's a, a dual sprue, because obviously it's exactly the same. So down in here, as you say, you've got those huge big blades on here. It's all recessed detail on the, oh, it's nice, raised as well. So you've got a tiny little bit of raised for some of the riveting and for the actual de-icing boot on them. And this little one down in here. So yeah, amazingly. Pretty good, I must admit, the missiles all look very nice, clean, clear. Rocket pods look sharp. We've actually got the fusing, or you can have it as in fired or empty, uh, sorry, loaded or empty as well. And then obviously we've got the various pylons down in there. So you can see that blade, the nice chunkiness of it. Very, very nice indeed. And then obviously we've got the various uh, sway braces for the missiles these are these for the hydro rocket pods obviously with or without so you can have it loaded or empty and then the fusing down at the rear there's those pods and again slip molded clever clever stuff no more big seam lines in these or anything else like that easy clean up no problem at all you just bung the front and backs on these and you're good to go so it's making the modeling job so much easier so both sides of that as well so you've got the big and the small pods and then obviously the smaller rocket pods various things sidewinder very nicely done and then obviously we've got one piece hellfires as well okay so you're going to have a little bit of a seam line just on those just to take out and you put the nose on and you're all good to go and that is it i have to say I am very, very impressed. It looks like Academy have come a long, long way and are fast now catching up, shall we say, with those AAA companies I often harp on about, things like that. Academy, for me, have always been absolutely fantastic. Good quality kits at actually a very reasonable price and their Phantoms have really taken them up a step and then seeing this has taken it right up there now. That actually is a really, really nice kit. And in 135th scale of having a modern Cobra, or Viper, should I say, in this day, uh, it gives us exactly what us the modelers want. And I would build that in an absolute heartbeat. But the slip molding on that and the way with the one-piece tails, with the rocket pods and things like that has absolutely sold me on it. It's beautiful detail at its very best and an absolute must. Thank you.